Hey everybody, hope you guys are all doing safe. So you're watching main camera footage, Xiaomi 13 Pro. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand right now. And in today's video, I'm gonna do a real world camera comparison between this phone and the Honor Magic 5 Pro with a 50 megapixel main camera with an f1.6 aperture. So this is, I believe, the fastest aperture in the main camera yet. And of course, I'm gonna add in the Galaxy S23 Ultra with that brand new 200 megapixel sensor. Now the S23 Ultra's main camera actually has the smallest image sensor size at 1 over 1.3 inches compared to the other two phones but it has a lot more pixels to play with and that allows Samsung to do computational photography tricks like 16 in 1 pixel binning and of course everything you're hearing is coming directly from the phone's internal mic with no edits at all everything's also shot entirely handheld either handheld or on a selfie stick but there's no gimbal involved okay let's take a couple of test shots here and I want to say that right now whatever you're seeing on this camera footage it's exactly what I'm seeing with my eyes. I've set the lighting to kind of match the real life scene. So this is about how bright or how dark it is right now. So Xiaomi 13 Pro, main camera. On the Magic 5 Pro, main camera. S23 Ultra. It's a pretty close call here. I think I personally like the colors of the Xiaomi image the best, but when you zoom up to 400%, you see that Samsung and Xiaomi has a lot of noise and artifacts and digital sharpening. As for ultra wide camera, in terms of sharpness and details, it's very close. It comes down to personal preference. So you see that Samsung's 10x zoom image is surprisingly not beating the other two right now. That's because this is a low light situation and Samsung's 10x zoom lens has a small sensor and a slow aperture. So it's not ideal for nighttime use. During the day though, it will win. So one of the craziest things about Thailand are these uh, power cables, power lines. Look at how, how like bungled up they are. So this has been like this for uh, couple decades so I think it's safe you know we haven't had any like major accidents yet but I think the Thai government is trying to clean this up but it will take a lot of uh, manpower this is a Galaxy S23 ultra camera footage of three times zoom let's do 10 times zoom that was a Xiaomi 13 Pro 10 times zoom Alright, uh, so check this out. The Galaxy S23 Ultra's 10x zoom lens need uh, night mode right now. And it really slows it down. It takes like three, two, three seconds to snap the shot. Whereas the other phones at the Xiaomi 13 Pro right now, you see it just snaps the shot right away. I do think Samsung's 10x zoom is the sharpest, but it also needs night mode more often than the other two lenses. Uh, this is that uh, notorious Bangkok traffic. Just completely. Sometimes you're just stuck here for like 40 minutes. A lot of people take these uh, like mini bike taxis, and to be honest, I, I tried it once and I was a little bit scared because you have to sit on the back of a bike and they're zipping in and out. Sometimes you'll see two of them on the back of one. Okay, I think this is a Japanese girly bar, meaning you go in there, you sing karaoke, but then they will also have some, you know, ladies that will sit with you. Let's test a couple of shots here. This is a really close call. I honestly think all three phones did a really good job. I'm at the Jods Night Market. This is um, a bunch of food, overwhelmingly amount of food, and I guess clothing too if you're interested in shopping. But yeah, I am starving. I'm gonna come get dinner here. So this is ultra wide camera, Xiaomi 13 Pro ultra wide camera. Ultra wide camera footage on the Magic 5 Pro. Okay, ultra wide camera footage, S23 Ultra.
All right, so check this out. I got this whole rack of ribs for like 350 baht. It's like less than eight US dollars. A few moments later. I gotta show you guys this uh, proof. She's very famous. She's all over YouTube actually, and I think you can see why she's so famous. So one of the trends I'm noticing is that Honor's image is almost always the brightest because that main camera has a large sensor, almost as large as Xiaomi's, and also has the fastest aperture of f1.6. Okay, so there are just some dogs sitting here, so I'm gonna try to take some portrait shots of them. Okay, let's take a sample shot here. So we have a harsh sunlight right here. We have a wall with some street art and then casting a shadow over the street. So this is kind of like a unique framing right here with different light sources. Once again, we can see Arner's photo is the brightest of the three. I'm not sure that's a good thing here as the better contrast in Samsung and Xiaomi's images just look a little bit better. Now moving to a 10 times zoom, as expected, Samsung takes the win because it has a 10 times periscope zoom lens. However, for short zoom, like the three times something zoom, I think Xiaomi's portrait lens is better than the other two phones. Main camera footage, Xiaomi 13 Pro, Xiaomi. Main camera footage, Honor Magic. Main camera footage, Galaxy S23 Ultra. Uh, back to main camera footage, Xiaomi 13 Pro. I have the phone on an extended selfie stick. So um, what do you guys think? I think so far, after examining all the photos and videos yesterday, I think all three camera systems are really good. I think in terms of the main camera, I'm still partial to the IMX 989 because it has a shallower depth of field. Because Xiaomi's image sensor is the largest, it also has the shallowest depth of field. So right here, if you look at all three of these shots, it's subtle. This part of the background behind the hanging meat looks a little bit blurry, that natural depth of field bokeh compared to, if you look at Galaxy S23 Ultra's image in particular compared to Xiaomi's image side by side, Samsung's image looks a little bit more flat, right? Like if you look at the meat right here, you see a little bit more depth in Xiaomi's image than you see in Samsung's image. But the Galaxy S23 Ultra has a trick that the other two phones can't do and that is shoot in 200 megapixel mode. So both of these pictures are 200 megapixel shots, but this allows you to zoom way into a photo than you normally could. You would not be able to crop in this much for images captured by other phones right now. However, you need really good lighting for the 200 megapixel mode to really work. And it takes like three seconds to snap the photo. So it's a much slower shutter speed. That's why ultimately 200 megapixel is a nice to have bonus feature, but it's not something you can use very regularly. I think the S23 Ultra is probably the most polished system overall. You can do the longest zoom and video performance in terms of audio quality, everything seems to be the most consistent. However, the Xiaomi 13 Pro's uh, low light performance sometimes can be a little bit too dark. And the main camera's aperture, f1.9, it's a little bit slow compared to the other two, particularly the Honor Magic 5 Pro. The Honor Magic 5 Pro can make the claim that they have the most balanced main camera between having a large image sensor, like it's not quite as large as the one inch, but it's quite a bit larger than the Galaxy S23 Ultra sensor and it has a fast 1.6 aperture. But I think Honor software needs a little bit of work right now. Sometimes stuff is still a little bit wonky. Like when I'm switching between lenses, there's a little bit of a jumpiness to it. And when I'm filming video like for 10X, like I'm gonna show you right now. So right now I'm using the main lens, but if I switch to 10X zoom, you notice my, vo my voice is gonna get really low. Okay, I'm now shooting 10X zoom with the Honor Magic 5 Pro. You'll probably notice that my voice is very hard to hear now. As for the Galaxy S23 Ultra, that 200 megapixel comes in handy when you want to snap a photo with a lot of details. But at the same time, it's not practical to use day to day, so you just have to shoot with the normal main camera. But the Galaxy S23 Ultra probably has the best video performance overall because you can switch between all four lenses in the middle of filming immediately. Whereas on the other phones, you kind of have to play with that zoom dial slider and it really slows things down i like that here 
I can immediately jump to 10 zoom if I want and jump all the way back out to ultra wide camera. So I think the S23 Ultra is the most versatile camera system. So anyway, that's about it for this real world review between all three flagship phones. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing to my channel. It takes a lot of work for me to put these videos together because I'm doing all this by myself. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.